Hello everyone, a um, little bit of an update on the video I was making and I have a few ideas to share. Recently when I was, um, recently uh, a few days ago or a week ago, um, I found out that there is a, a ethical theory called moral sense theory. And, uh, it, I felt like it was, it felt like it was the most, it felt like it aligns with psychology. Um, the idea is you make moral decisions based off of your interpretation of your past experiences. And that's... Um, accomplished because humans have a, a moral sense so I can feel if something feels right or wrong and that's how you can come up with answers to ethical questions and that aligns with psychology because um, what I've learned is that we make decisions based off of our interpretation of how we feel and what it means. <clears throat> so that was interesting to find out. I also found out that moral sense theory developed into <clears throat> moral impressionism, I think is what it, it became. Um, hold on, I want to make sure I have this right. Okay, I found it. It's moral sentimentalism. So, um, if I understand correctly, which I might not, um, moral sense theory developed into, which was the Earl of Shaftesbury's theory. I, I hope I have that correct. But David Hume later on picking up from that, I believe, I think, I don't know for sure, I haven't dug too deep into this, um, developed it further and developed moral sentimentalism, which roughly makes the case that reason is, reason obeys the emotions. In other words, it's emotions that moral distinctions, Hume argues, arise from emotions or sentiments rather than from reason. So our emotions um, we have a certain emotion, emotional reaction to a goal and we use our reason to determine how to arrive at our destination that we want to uh, be, how to get what we want to get, but ultimately the thing that creates the distinction of what is good to do or get or whatever arises from emotions. So I found that interesting because psychology, I'm sure, um, corroborates that, right? It supports that idea. Um, so that was interesting. In terms of the video I was making, there's a paper. I haven't been reading all of the papers because they're very dense and there's a lot of them and I have a lot of university work to so, but there's a paper called Morals, The Moral Emotions by Jonathan Haidt, and that's what I've had my mind on for a while, and that's why I found that particularly uh, captivating, because um, The Moral Emotions talks about the emotions associated with um, one's own relationship with society and other people, like guilt and shame. Those are emotions that are aimed at they, they, they happen in response to actions that we do that are reprehensible or disliked in the eyes of others. So, hence the name Moral Emotions. So, that's the paper I want to read next because my idea, ideas have been developing such that I can understand that paper a little bit better. Um, and then the last idea I wanted to mention was that
philosophy. Actually, I'll stop there. My other ideas are scattered at the moment. Anyway, that was a little update and I gave you uh, something interesting to chew on a little bit. Might not be that interesting to you. It's interesting to me because it's what I'm um, finding relevant to my life at the moment. Uh, yeah, I'll leave it there. Thank you for watching.